this even interesting to anyone? God knows. <laughs> Hey folks, it's Abby, and today I thought I would show you how I take my bookstagram photos. There will be some limits on kind of what I can show you at the moment, just because, as I've mentioned in almost every single video for the past however long, I'm moving house. <laughs> so I'm moving to live in with my partner, my parents are moving, lots of stuff is packed away, including the trinkets that I tend to use for my bookstagram photos. So I have had a lot of mainly just plain white backgrounds lately on my Instagram, just because I've had to pack everything else away. I think most of the trinkets that I use, which I keep in a little box, they're actually in the house now. They're in York. So I, I can't access them. This is the Newcastle house. <laughs> so it, it will be a little bit limited. <laughs> compared to that, but I'm still kind of just going to go through the very basics. It's going to be a nice little short one and I'll show you. So let's get into it. The first thing to show, if I can find my phone so I can film you. Okay, so this is my camera. It's a Canon EOS 1200D and as you can see it's on a uh, newer tripod. So this is my, my DSLR. I've had this for quite a few years now. I got it for photography rather than for video purposes, but when I started making videos, I had it there, so I thought I might as well use it. I just use the lens that comes with the camera, which is the zoom lens, EFS 18 to 55 millimeters. I'm reading that off of the lens. <laughs> um, so yes, that is what I use for filming, and it is also what I use for my bookstagram photos. My phone is an iPhone 6, so it is how old? Oh, I've got a few maths. Uh, seven years old? I got it when I was 18 um, from my parents for my 18th birthday. So it, it doesn't take the best photo quality anymore. And also, there's like no space on it at all. So all of my photos are done on the camera. So I can't obviously show you me taking the photos unless I do more of the weird, bad quality phone filming. So let's get into how I actually shoot. So, in terms of where I take my pictures, this is my bed. I do it on my sheet. <laughs> Literally, it gets done on the sheet. Over here are my books. Yes, it's a mess. I've been filming. What were you expecting from me? Uh, that is stuff that needs to go to the new house. <laughs> but what I do, sorry for the creaking of the tripod, what I do is I don't actually use my tripod when I'm taking photos. I like to be able to actually get over the bed, but of course that uh, wouldn't work out great for you guys. So you're on the tripod. The very creaky tripod. <laughs> so yes, I don't usually use the tripod when I'm taking photos, I just hold it. But this is where I take the photos, so of course it would be just the white space. And I actually have it vertical, not that that changed anything for you, but yeah, I have it vertical rather than horizontal for my photos. That was from a tip from Kayla from Books and Lover, so if you do have it vertical, again, this looks the same to you, it's still horizontal, but if you have it vertical instead, if you have it in portrait, it takes up more of the page, so therefore you might get more clicks because people are looking at it for longer. It's bigger on the page. And then if I just grab a random book. So, first of all, sometimes I'll just do that. <laughs> sometimes it's literally just that. Sometimes it's this. With a, with a wee bit of... Zhuzhing. Wham. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. And sometimes that is literally it. I always make sure I have some form of white space here, and what I do is I use Snapseed as my editing program just on my phone, um, because I have not yet learned how to edit properly. <laughs> I don't have the time. Um, and I desaturate any actual white space so that I get it to true white rather than whatever hue this is. At the moment it's probably a slightly yellowish hue. It does tend to vary throughout the day or if I've got any lights on or anything. In terms of what I put with this, I have quite a few ribbons. Some of them are still here actually. No, this isn't all of them, but I have ribbons. <laughs> so like for this one, I would use this ribbon probably if I wanted to use a ribbon with it. And I would have that wrapped around the book or like just laid around on top of it in a better formation than that, but still um, to add some depth. And then also sometimes I will use things like scroll letters. Apparently I'm repping the Republic of Ireland here. Um, but yes, yeah, some scroll letters to spell out either like the title or the genre or like if it's a review. And also my little planty boys will sometimes make a feature as and when it feels appropriate. I also do have 
other kind of little things that I use, um, little trinkets. So sometimes I'll even use like nail polish if it's a girlier book. But if it's a fantasy book, I tend to try and stick to the themes of having a lot of dark things. Just little trinkets and tchotchkes um, in the photo. <laughs> so I will have little bits and bobs, sometimes even just a little scrunchie. I would make it look nicer than that. Essentially, I get my bed. I move the duvet off of it and use the sheet and take a photo of a book with crap around it. A lot of the times as well I'll use other books and like line up the spines um, so they can be used like in the corner of a photo or if I have them like dotted around in the corner with the focus on the main book if they're a similar colour scheme or from the same author, uh, the same genre or the same series even. Then I use, as I mentioned, Snapseed. So this is my incredibly messy phone screen. Um, and then in here is Snapseed, which is just a free app, at least on iPhone. I don't know if it is on other applications. Oh, the little kitty. Okay, is there... Yes, that's fine. I don't actually need any edits of the cat. I will edit this photo of a very phallically shaped coffee. So obviously there isn't any massive white space here, but there is a little bit. So what I do is I go in, I take the saturation, I get that down right to the end, and I'm just going to pop that on for this so that I can see it. Now obviously I'm a little bit more precise than this because I know that I'm going to be getting the coffee in this and the table. But you just do this to take out the saturation. I've just changed the level there so this is now the eraser, so the rubber. Um, there we go, that's desaturated. You probably won't notice any difference but it is, you can slightly tell that it was a warmer tone and I've brought it to true neutral white. Then I go in here and what I do is I then expose the white areas. Again, I know that this is not exact because I just can't be asked just to show you guys. <laughs> um, but yep, so that I would then expose the white areas so that they're a little brighter. Again, I've done that really badly. I'm doing it through the viewfinder as well. And then I would take the saturation and I would do that for the book cover. So obviously in this case, it's not the book cover, it is the phallic coffee art which I am rubbing, I've just realised. Again, this is really poorly done. <laughs> and I do a few other little tweaks there, but like once I've got it to how I like it, you then click save, I'm not going to because I don't want to edit this photo, but you can either save a copy or just it will override what's in your camera roll. Again, this is iPhone only. Unfortunately, I've never used it on an Android device. Um, and then once it's saved, I actually don't upload through Instagram. Um, whenever I try and upload through Instagram, it crashes. Uh, and it won't actually let me post. So instead, what I do is I upload my photos into my OneDrive, and then from my OneDrive, I can put them, obviously they're then accessible on my laptop, grab them from the laptop, and I schedule them in the Facebook Business Manager application, um, web page, whatever it is, because you can actually access Instagram on that. So you can see I have a folder called Bookster. So this is where all of my unedited Bookstagram photos are. And from there, I can then schedule them and post them. And that is how I do my bookstagram. If this was interesting, please give me a thumbs up and I will send you back to in person Abby. And that's it. That's how I take my photos. So really, really basic, really, really simple. I was very much inspired at first by Kayla from Books and Lala. I really like her photos. I've not gone down the same route as her. I don't have the same style as her, but the very basic level of a nice bright white background definitely came from her because I really enjoyed those photos. I do love the kind of more deeper, darker photos on the kind of dark academia vibe. I love those, but it's just not something that I can do myself. If you have a bookstagram, I want to go follow it, link it down below for me. And as always, my bookstagram is always linked in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit like. And if you want to see more of my ramblings, then hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye folks! Thank you.